In this video, I will show you how to create seller accounts and upload your products on Seller. Seller.co is your all-in-one e-commerce store builder where you can sign up a free account on Seller and sell your products or services. It can be a physical product or digital product. And you'll be able to receive payments in different currencies. There is option for you where you can sell your product in USD. If somebody is living in the UK, the person can pay you in British pounds. If you want to sell to your customers in Ghana, you can receive Ghana CDs. If the person is in Kenya, you can receive Kenya shilling. You can also receive other different currencies. So there is no boundary for you with seller. You can be able to sell your product to international communities. And the sweetest part is that you don't need to pay monthly subscription. There is a free account which you can start with and I will show you as we progress. I'll show you how you can create the account and set up your product on Stellar. The link to this website is at the description of this video. When you click on that link, it will take you to this particular user interface. You can create your account using your mobile phone or laptop. I'm using this laptop to record for easy usage. When you click on that link at the description of this video, it will take you to this particular user interface. And you are going to see this start selling button. When you click on this start selling button, it will take you to this particular interface where you can fill your form to create an account. You are going to enter your email address here, enter your full name, and enter your suggested password. One thing you need to note is that the full name you enter here is what is the name that is going to appear on your seller store. So in case you want to use your business name, then let that business name be here so that that name is going to appear on the seller store. I already have a seller account, but I'm going to just create a demo account to walk you through the process. After entering your email address, your full name and password, go ahead and click on create account. And right here, your seller account has been created. So you're going to see this. How do you plan to use seller today? Don't worry, you can switch between profiles anytime. So you're going to see I'm a creator. I want to sell my product service on seller. I'm an affiliate marketer. I want to end commission reselling. I am a customer. I bought a product on seller. Now, these are different ways that you can join seller. If you're a creator that you want to sell your product, then you're going to go ahead and click on creator account. What they mean by creator account? It's a seller who has a digital product or a physical product to sell. What they mean by an affiliate marketer is if you are affiliating for someone's course, and the sweetest part is that you can switch your profiles. You can switch from an affiliate to a creator. And you can also switch from creator to a customer. In case you bought somebody's course on seller or you bought a training or coaching program on seller and you want to go through the person's course, you can switch from a creator account to a customer account and you can go through that person's account. But because of this video, I told you I will show you how to upload your product. So I'm going to create a creator's account. So I'll select this creator account and I'll click on continue as a creator. So here you see you don't have any products yet. It's just a new account we are creating now. So you have not uploaded any product. That's why they are saying that. So they say, welcome to seller your simple e-commerce tool to sell your content, products, and services across borders. The next thing you see here is add bank details. You click on the add bank details. So you are going to see here, set up your bank details. This is where your funds will be paid to. What you need to note about these bank details is when people buy your product on seller or if you do affiliate marketing on seller and they pay you your commission, these bank details that you provide here is where seller is going to be sending your money to. Before I continue, let me officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Sika Digital's YouTube channel and on this channel, I create videos around how you can make money online and digital skills. If this is the first time of visiting my channel, you're highly welcome. Do well to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell notification so that you will be the first person to be notified as soon as I publish new video because I publish valuable videos every week. Then the next thing you need to do right now is to like this video. Okay, I haven't done that. Let's continue. So you are going to select your country here. Then I'm in Nigeria. I will select Nigeria. Then on that bank here, 
I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and I'm going to select my bank. So I'm using Guaranteed Trust Bank. Let me just use that here. Then I will enter my account number here and I'll click on Verify Account Detail. Okay, you can see that when you click on Verify Account Detail, your name, the account name is going to appear here. You can see this is my bank account name and I'll go ahead and click on Continue button. When you click on this continue button, seller will ask you, are you sure your account details are this? So you click on OK to confirm. And with that, your account details has been set. So the next thing you will do is to add your product. You will see here, don't have any products yet. Welcome to seller. So you click on this add products. Now you are going to select the kind of products you want to add. Select a product type to proceed. Physical product, digital product, ticket, subscription, service, cost, hosting stream online video membership flexible subscription you are, you are going to see different products here that you can add and you can see this one is free with the free plan you can use this you can use the digital product physical product ticket all these ones for free plan so the one that i want to upload is a digital product so i'm going to select digital products here remember if you are selling physical products select physical product in my own case, I'm selling a digital product. So I'm going to select digital product. So click on next. Right here, you will see your product details. You are going to upload an image and ensure that the image you want to upload is square size. So click on this drag and drop your image here. So I'll click on it. So I will just select one of the images from my folder here. So I'll select this one and it's going to be uploaded right here so the next thing here is product name and i'll enter the product name youtube success blueprint that's the name of the course i want to sell then you are going to see stay price so you are going to enter the price that you're selling that product so this course is 5000 naira and i'm going to enter 5000 naira here you are going to see set price to zero for a free product so in case this product is a free product that you are given out you don't want them to pay you are going to set the price here at zero just enter zero here and anyone you send the link will be able to download that product right then the next thing you see here is show strike out original price so if you want to enter an original price for instance maybe you're giving a discount let me say right now this product is selling at five thousand naira, and maybe the original price was seven thousand I will check this box show strike price so i will enter the original price here and i will enter seven thousand right they are going to strike out this one and put only this one you will see it when i upload it then the next thing here is text you are going to explain your offer the details of this product the contents of this product what they are going to get in this product that is what you are going to explain in this text area my own case is a YouTube Success Blueprint course is a course that is about how to create your YouTube channel, grow your channel, and also monetize your channel. So I'll write all that here, and I'll also write the content of this course right here so that whosoever that is coming across will be able to read it and understand what the course is about and make payments. Okay, right now there are other things here that you need to understand. You can use all this to your own advantage. If you want to include a link, you will use this particular one. Click on this for link. Then this one is bold. This one is italics. This one is underlined. If you want to underline any text, you can highlight this now and click on this underline. And this text is going to be underlined. You see that it has been underlined. Then if you want to make it a link, you are going to highlight it and you click on this link and this will become a link and you put the link under. Then if you want to end, if you want to include a picture on this page, see what you will do. You are going to click on this picture image and it will take you to your gallery where you are going to select an image. So for instance, I will select this now. This is the image I want to put. So I'll select that and you will see that that image will be included right here. You see that right here, the image is here now. So if you want to enter a video on this same page, see the video icon here, click on this video icon and you'll be able to embed your video link so you're going to upload that video on youtube first or maybe any of this video hosting platform and you are going to copy the link and paste here 
and that video is going to show right here on your landing page of this product then after that the next thing you're going to do is to enter the category so you just select a category here maybe my own product is under business i will select business you can select a sub category or you leave it so i'll select a sub category and my own is under content creation then the next thing you see here is product variation so if your product has different variations like uh, packages add-on sizes color especially if you are selling a, a physical product if you are selling clothes and that clothes has different color sizes packages and all that you are going to enter product variation here then the next thing here is more details product type if it is not a digital product you see the drop down arrow here and select if it is a physical product or any kind of product you can select that here then the next thing you will see here is to indicate if it is a pre-order or not so if this product is a pre-order, you're going to check this box that is beside, this is a pre-order product. But if the product is ready and it's not a pre-order, then leave this box vacant. Next thing you will see here is store category filter. You can leave this vacant. After that, you will see give buyer access to a file. In case this your course has maybe a downloadable file, for instance, a video file that they are going to download, then you can put the downloadable file here. Or maybe if it is an ebook that they are going to download after paying, then you can put the downloadable file here. Then you will give buyer access to a file that is after they have paid for it, right? But if you don't want them to download the maybe ebook and you want them to read only, you select this read online only, right? But if you want them to be able to download, select this downloadable file. I believe you understand the difference now. But if it is not something that they will download. Just uncheck this give buyer access. You will now see something like automatically redirect the buyer to an external URL after a purchase. I use this one a lot. For instance, after they have paid, I want to redirect them to maybe where they will get access to that particular course. Maybe you hosted the course on Telegram channel or you hosted it in Google Drive or you hosted it on another platform. You are going to give them access to that course with a link so you are going to check this automatically redirect them to that place and you are going to see redirect url so you are going to copy the link and paste it right here so for instance let me just copy one link here and paste it here and whosoever that buys this course after paying the seller is going to redirect that person to the this link destination and with that the person can continue to assess the course he has just bought if it is a physical product, you can use your WhatsApp link and the person will be redirected to your WhatsApp. And with that, you can go further to tell the person how to access it or whatever. Then this is the last stage. After this, go ahead and click on create products. So right here, you can see that your product has been created successfully. You see success. Congratulations. Your product has been added. You can view it at this. So this is the public link. So you are going to copy this link and send it to anyone that wants to buy that product just copy the link and send it to the person and when the person clicks on this link it is going to redirect that person to your seller store so i've clicked on the link let's see how it looks like so this is how your seller store will look like so the person will now be able to see the product and read about it and all that so you see the price five thousand you see the original price seven thousand they struck it right and you will see the buy now button so the person will read about the course here and when the person clicks on this buy now the person will be able to make payment and be able to assess your course it's not only course that you can sell here you can also sell physical products i've explained that to you so the same process you follow through and you feel you upload your product on seller i would like you to like this video and comment below that